Now, in this tutorial, we will understand what is closure. We understand what they are and why they are used. Function that has no name is known as anonymous function. And anonymous functions is also called closure. So, it means the function has no name is known as closure. A closure is an anonymous function that can't access outside scope. Now, here is the simple example of standard function. To create a standard function, you can simply create a function and specify a name to it. And in this function, you can write a function code. Now, what if I want to convert this function into anonymous function? I'm going to just get rid of this name from this function. That's it. So, this is what you call an anonymous function. Or, you can call it closure. Now, as you know, if the function has no name, then how do you call it? A simple way to call this function is to wrap this function in the parenthesis. I'm going to cut it and create a parenthesis here and put that function in the parenthesis. And to call this function, just specify parenthesis here, just like this. And specify semicolon. That's it. Using this syntax, you can call an anonymous function. Now, keep in mind, you always need to specify this semicolon at the end of this function. Because this function is an inline function. So, you need to specify the end of statement every time you call the closure. Now, there is one more way you can call this anonymous function. I'm going to just get rid of this parenthesis right from here. So, I'm going to just create a variable and specify a callback function to it. And now, I'm going to just call this function just like we call a standard PHP function. Just like this. When you execute this function, it's going to return an anonymous function. Now, as I said earlier, closures can't access the outside scope. What does it mean? It means you can't access the outside scope variable in the closure. For example, let's say I have here a variable, external variable, and then I have the second external variable. Now, what if I create a variable and specify closure to it? And in this closure, I'm going to just echo both these variables. Now, if you try to execute this function, it's going to return two error messages that variables aren't defined. So, this callback function doesn't have access to any external variables. To access external variable, you need to introduce it with use function. For example, if I just add here, use and specify parenthesis. And in this parenthesis, if I call here both these functions just like this, just like we pass parameter to the function, then I can access the external variable as well using a closure. And when you execute this closure, it's going to return daily tuition. But why do you need this closure? Closures are mostly used as callback functions. In many PHP predefined functions, you can see closures are used as callback functions. For example, in the previous lectures, we understand how to use add a map function. In the array map function, we specify the first parameter, a callback function. This function is also known as closure. This function has no name. And then specify the function code in this curly braces. And then we specify the second argument to this array map function. Now, this array map function is using this closure as an argument of this function. So, you can change or manipulate your array value using this callback function very easily. So, I hope you understand how to create closures and why they are used. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.